Hola mis amigos and my 312 YouTube subscribers. Welcome back to the King Fox channel. My name is Matt Conagher and I'm building a Kit Fox Model 7 STI, which is here. This is going to be the fourth and final episode in this four-part series of the landing gear install on the King Fox. It turned out longer than I wanted. Of course, it's hard to cut down hours and hours of video and get them into 10-minute sections. Therefore, I broke it down into four 10-minute videos, plus or minus based off of the majority of those who've responded to my questions about longer videos or shorter videos. So this is going to be the fourth video. It's going to be a little bit shorter than 10 minutes, but uh, it'll segue into the next video where we lead on to some discoveries in which I learned while installing the gear on the King Fox. So thanks for watching. Welcome back. If you haven't already done so, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the little tiny bell for notifications so you don't miss future videos. And uh, share this with your friends and family, whoever would like to see it, or if you know somebody else who's building a Kit Fox, share it with them. Maybe they can give me some tips and tricks and pointers along the way because lots of you have done so and I do appreciate that. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back and let's get into the video. All right, I was going to check the pressure on the Alaskan bush wheel, but there's no inside portion to the, the valve stem. So. so there's no air in the tire. Um, so I got to find out if I need to install a valve or, or what. So TBD. Guys, if you're like me, you unwrap your bush wheel tires and you say, oh, let me pump them up with air, but there's no valve stems in, so they can't inflate or deflate. So I was Googling where my valve stems are and I couldn't find anything. And when you pull the, and you see that portion of the tire right there, it's got some shrink wrap on it. And when you unwrap it, there's a thing in there that says something about the, the weight, the max PSI, and when it was tested. And then in this other portion, it said, warning, do not put more than one pound of PSI in it. But the other tire had some valve stems and a valve stem tool in it. So the other valve stem I just put in the other tire and turned it in with this this portion of the, of the tool. And then I added eight pounds of pressure just to get it seated on the rim. And I'm getting ready to, I'm pulling the bushings out this tire on both sides. And I'm gonna just rim in. And I use a makeshift tool. I happen to have this on hand. And I put it through the one side of the, the rim and I put these spacers on there. And this one to grab the rim. These two for added height to washers and a nut. And then I tightened it up and it pulled the two sides of the rims together. And then I was able to get the bolts through and get the washers on and the nuts. Tighten it up and put some air in it. So that was my technique. Wheel bearings are repacked. Right, there's a hole for the valve stem right there, but there's no valve stem. That comes down through the tires. There is a valve stem built into the tire right there. So that's going to be on the outside and the brake goes on the inside and the brake's got the black piece on it. That's the, the brake drum or the brake disc. So that's going to go on the inside here. So I'm going to drop that in and push it through so I can feel it seat. And if you can't push it through, just stand on it a little bit. See if you can get it to seat. If it doesn't seat, it'll seat soon. Once it goes in and the gray ring, it's not quite seated around, but that's where I'm gonna drop this in, this side. So I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna bring this piece, let me put a bolt in, maybe two, maybe three. Okay, I don't know if you can see those three bolts. Gonna line them up with these three holes. They're lined up. This bolt through this side, and it grabs on to the to the bearing on the other side. I'm gonna put these three items on here. My washers and a nut. And that's to pull this thing together. This particular nut is three quarters, so I got a three quarter wrench.
once you get the two pieces of the wheel pulled together, then you can take this off and we'll throw a little air in the tire by inserting the trader valve. Slide the Schrader valve in this way first. And put the uh, tool on there and screw it in. I screw it in until it's flush with the top. I gotta clean the grease off my fingers quick and then I'll hit it with some air. Three PSI, try to get it up to eight, so I got the other one. I'm at five, seven, right at eight.